So not much news has been reported about The Mandalorian Season 3, but there has been a few reports on when we can see a release date. So I was able to find this article on The Mandalorian Season 3 release date, and here's what it says. The Mandalorian Season 3 release date to be announced by September 2021. Information about this new season of The Mandalorian was incredibly scarce, but fans were more than ecstatic when Giancarlo Esposito, who played Moff Gideon in the series, had a few updates. The Mandalorian is one of the most successful live-action Disney Plus series in recent years. It took off with the popularity of Grogu, unofficially called Baby Yoda, seeping into pop culture. People made fan art, memes, and even clothes with the cutest and endearing Baby Yoda theme. Not only was it loved by avid fans, but critics were also particularly impressed with this show of the Star Wars universe. It was a visual masterpiece with nuances, storytelling, powerful protagonists, and anti-heroes. The story essentially revolves around a bounty hunter who decides to go on adventures alone in the outer galaxy where the New Republic has no control. It is set three years after the Empire's fall, as seen in Return of the Jedi. For its great first season, The Mandalorian led the Primetime Emmy Award nominations in 2020, with 15 nominations and 7 wins. The second season was also nominated for a Golden Globe for the Best te Television Series, with a release date of a spin-off series, The Book of Boba Fett, that was supposed to be filmed before The Mandalorian was confirmed. It can be assumed that Season 3 of the beloved show will begin filming soon, however, it has been reported that this release date will be announced by September 2021. Therefore, it is assumed that we will see the new season by 2022. Now this is incredible news. Many fans have worried that Mandalorian Season 3 would keep getting delayed. And if this rumor is true, we could get Mandalorian next year. And that adds a bunch of other shows. We get Cassian Andor, Obi-Wan, Bad Batch, has also been confirmed. And even I think Ahsoka has been rumored to come out 2022, but I doubt that one. Our next bit of news is about Book of Boba. The star of Star Wars, The Book of Boba Fett, reveals that the first insights about the series, directors, and future. Exclusive. Tamor Morrison, who played Boba Fett, has revealed the first details on the new Disney Plus show, The Book of Boba Fett, detailing how Jon Favreau's Marvel background has influenced the series. The actress who confirmed whether or not the program will return for a second season as well as revealing who will direct it. In season 2 of The Mandalorian, Boba Fett was reintroduced to the Star Wars universe. Demora Morrison reprised his renowned role as the ruthless bounty hunter on the search for his armor. Morrison made his Star Wars debut in 2002, Picture Attack of the Clones, as the famous Jango Fett. Now Boba Fett, the son of the, his original character, is all grown up and ready to take over the galaxy's filthy cr criminal underworld in his first solo TV series. M Morrison revealed the first facts about the book of Boba Fett, which will be available on Disney Plus's streaming service in December. The book of Boba Fett was originally mentioned in a post credit scene following the second season of The Mandalorian. Boba Fett appeared in Jabba the Hutt's palace on Tatooine during the scene and grabbed the throne for himself, hinting at more to come for the merciless fighter. When asked about the story elements for the new show, Morrison laughed and said, you know the rules, nothing, nothing. It's in the history of the Mandalorian, so I guess we have to go back and see. It's a team effort, Ming-Na Wen, who plays the Master Assassin and Fennec Shan is in the cast. We have to look at the timeline. We have to look at where Boba has been, Morrison stated. It's important for us to keep the fans happy. Morrison noted that keeping Star Wars fans pleased and enthusiastic won't be a problem because the book of Boba Fett is being handled by, by the franchise's best creators. Jon Favreau of Marvel, renowned, is first and foremost in the lineup, he explained. From behind the scenes, the director and executive producer have worked relentlessly to develop the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Jon Favreau has come up with some wonderful formulas, the actor stated. So this is some great news. So we know that it's going to be Boba and the criminal underworld, and we know that they worked really hard on the show, which is great. There also seems to be no problems on the set, and that we'll be getting it this winter. Of course, Tamar Morrison can't say much on the story because he isn't allowed to, but I'm sure leaks will come out anytime soon. And also, most of all, their, their goal is to make the fans happy, which I'm pretty sure they will. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. 
If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, and remember, may the force be with you always.